<laughs> oh, wow. You know, gosh, I, I hate these questions. It's like picking among children. I, I have favorite books. And, I, and, I, uh, and so in order to basically um, evade your question, I'll answer in a different way. Because um, there are different books that I love for different reasons. I'll, I will say that the book that I read in the last sort of few years that I love the most that I felt like, how could I have not read this earlier, um, was The Woman in White um, by Wilkie Collins. I'd never read that book. I, if you have not read that book, it's like, it's a total page turner. Who's read that book? Okay, does, do you guys like that book? I met, you don't like it? My husband didn't like it either. I'm really upset with him, but, but I, I loved that book. Um, and there were a few passionate uh, lovers of that book um, at the book review at the time, Pearl Sagel, who's now a critic for the Times, and my former deputy, Radhika Jones, who's now the editor of Vanity Fair, were huge Wilkie Collins' fans, and so they, they got me to read that. But in general, um, I, I gravitate toward biography and history and um, mostly 19th century fiction, although I do read a lot more contemporary fiction now that I have this job. And I tend to, like my baseline for what I enjoy reading is anything that has nothing to do with my own experience. So this is different. I, I know a lot of people out there, that they say, I wanna see myself reflected in a book. That's the last thing I want to see. I am not interested in reading about a harried, overworked mother of three in like <laughs> new, outskirts of New York. It, like I, I would die of boredom with that kind of book. I want to read about you know someone writing from Nigeria or from Syria or from rural Indiana. I it coming at the world in a very different way. For me, um, any book that kind of trans supports me outside of my own experience is, is generally something I like. And if it makes me cry, all the better. <laughs>